Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. Viewers ask me all the time, do I have apron tutorials? And yes, I have lots of them. So I'm going to share with you some of my favorite apron tutorials that I have. And this one here, I just love. What I did was I bought a basic apron pattern. I think I bought it at Walmart for 97 cents. And I use it to make all different types of aprons. You can make it with or without pockets. I always put lining on all my aprons so that it's reversible. You can have two different themes on each side. So let's take a look at some of the other aprons. For this apron, I use the same pattern as the previous one, but I have 4th of July red, white, and blue fabric on it. This has a pocket also, and on the other side, I used bright red fabric with little polka dots, and it also has a pocket, so you can use it for other times of the year as well as 4th of July. This apron was made for my husband, and I used that same pattern, except I changed it, I enlarged it. So in that video, this one here, I show you how to alter a pattern to make it fit anyone, any size. So this one is extra long, because he's tall, and it's wider up here at the top. So it's a really easy process. So make sure you watch that one. The easiest bib apron I know is to use panel fabric with the apron already printed on it. It has directions off, printed off to the side of the fabric. It gives you all of the instructions. The lines are all indicated on there where to cut out and there's fabric for straps and pockets. So this is a fall a bib apron that you can use during the Thanksgiving season. On this apron, you will learn how to draw the entire pattern. I will show you exactly what to do. The one thing I like about this is this really large pocket area. You can reach inside here too. So this is a really functional apron. It's not for someone who's just a beginner, but if you've been sewing for a while and you want a little bit of a challenge, try this one. Again, I use that first pattern to create this one, but this time I used two different fabrics up here. So the bib part is all one fabric, and this is holiday fabric for Christmas. It says ho, ho, ho. And then this has Christmas trees on it. But you can still wear this apron year round because on the other side, it's just red check all over it. So this is a very functional apron. This one also started out as a panel fabric. I believe it was called Snow Bunnies, and I got it at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. The only difference is I cut the upper portion off and put this red ho-ho fabric on it. So when you buy panel fabric that has an apron print on it, feel free to still change and add things. You can even add pockets to it. And again, on the back side, it's just all one solid color, and I believe it's red with little white polka dots. This is also panel fabric. It had the apron printed on the panel fabric, and it's probably my favorite one. In fact, all of us in the room agree, it's their favorite one. This was so easy, even the straps were on that panel piece. And on the back, I have red fabric, but it's like little white polka dots and green polka dots. But you can put anything you want on the back so that you can wear it all year round. This is a half apron. There's no pattern that you have to buy. I just tell you how big to cut your fabric. The strips for the waist ties are very simple, and the pockets are very basic. There's one pocket on each side. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to do a gathering stitch. The easiest apron to make if you're a beginner and you're just learning how to sew is to do a towel apron. Very inexpensive. I buy most of my towels at Walmart. They have some really nice towels there, and you could choose to embellish it or not. This has large rickrack on it. And how you tie it on is there's just ribbon 
stitched on the corners of the towel. Really, really easy and it's so cute. And you can even add pockets if you like. I love this apron. It's also made out of a towel and it has chili pepper fabric. The pockets have little rickrack on it and I just love these pockets. They kind of go at an angle so that your hands easily go in like this. And look at this cute little ruffle. This is so cute, so sweet, and so feminine. I just love it. I also have tutorials for children's aprons. And this is a towel apron. And this is very, very basic. On each corner of the towel, I, by the way, I used a small hand towel. And I stitched ribbon on it. And then this is a little heart applique that you can put on it or not. And then also I put smaller rickrack along the bottom. Really easy. This towel apron can be for an older child or an adult. And right in here is a waist tie that's put in through a casing and you just gather the towel up if you want or you can have it go completely behind you. And then there are two large pockets and then there's a little bit of fabric added on at the bottom. This is a towel apron also for a child and this is a full length hand towel and sometimes when you buy hand towels it's got prints on it and no matter which way I would have turned this towel the owls up here look upside down but the ones on the bottom are right side up but it's for a child okay so you can put rickrack up here as an embellishment and then rickrack down here and in the back the ribbon you just pull this apron on over their head and then it crosses back in, in the back side of the apron. This is a child's bib apron and I'm using novelty fabric. This has cupcakes on it and I was in Joann's recently and they still had this cupcake fabric. I also used the large rickrack and to bind all of the edges I used quarter inch wide bias tape. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at all these aprons, and if you want to look at these tutorials, what you need to do is go below the YouTube screen where it gives the description of the video, and in there will be links to all of my apron tutorials. Also, you'll see links to other beginner projects. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.